Good morning, folks. The old fisherman back with you. Hey, we on Lake Monticello. It's raining in the forecast. Wind blowing out the northeast. Awful wind. All the way across the lake where I want to fish. But, hey, we're going to give it a shot today. Anyhow, see if we can catch a couple of these crappers here first thing this morning. If we can hold the boat. Because we're going to have heavy winds today. We might end up having to go perch fishing on the other side of the lake. But we're gonna try to crap it right off the bat for a little bit. See what happens. Pull back up on that little rock hump here, whatever that is down there, and see if we can catch one of them. Loving life with the old fishermen. I am definitely loving life. We've been catching some nice fish here lately. I didn't go yesterday, it rained all day. Today's Wednesday, and it's it, it's gonna rain today too. I see the clouds brewing. I forgot to bring my rain jacket out here, it's in the truck. In too big a hurry. And we might get a wet honey today on this lake. <clears throat> what it looks to me like anyhow. You never know, but it sure looks like it's a possibility. We're gonna get a wet honey. But we're gonna drop it down in hopes we catch a doggone Monticello crappie. I done fished for crappies longer this summer than I have in a long time. I used to love fishing for them in the summer. Hey, and I done found out there's some out here. But the problem is, some days they feed and some days they ain't. And uh, you got to get hit the right day. <clears throat> it's a possibility they might bite today if we can hold a boat. That's gonna be the big thing. We found some perch on the other side of the lake, but on the on the wind side of the lake, uh, last time I was here, some big perch. But the problem is, it's gonna really be white capping over there, so I don't know if we can even hold a boat. And some crappers over there too. So both of them's over there, I caught a couple bass. <laughs> but anyhow, glad you could be with me. Hope everybody's doing well out there, staying safe with this coronavirus. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it'll get better. It looks like it's getting worse until it's better. Hey, let's drop it down, see if we can catch one. Thanks to Walker Rebels, he, uh, he sent me uh, 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 a good many uh, Bobby Garland jigs he bought for me. He was at Cabela's and he bought them for me. Just a super nice guy. And I appreciate that, Walker. Mighty kind of you. And I got some of them on right now. <clears throat> Might not be going to bite today. They ain't looking good. I should be down here to bite. Usually when they there, it don't take long for the first one to bite. And so far, we ain't had the first bump. No kind. That tells me it's going to be a rough day. This front's coming in to mess these fish up, show us the world. Oh, there he is. Hey, there he is. Doggone, there he is. Look at that nice crappie right off the bat. Hey, nice crappie. Doggone slab. Huh? What? Man, ain't that something I'm just talking down? Boom. There he was. Hey, can't beat it. So they are going to bite a little bit. See that? That's a good one. Hey, that's a beauty. Got to love a crappy like that. First bite today. Hey, let's see if we can catch a nothing. Let's see if we can catch a nothing on this lake. A lake I love. Lake Monticello. I tell you, you got to imitate a little tiny minnow or a mayfly lava. And I think that, that uh, Bobby Garland jig does both. That's what I think. Now I got a um, Charlie Brewer up top with the tail cut off. That two and an eighth inch metal Charlie Brewer with the paddle tail snipped off has been working really well on this slow approach jigging. And I think by cutting the tail off, it makes it imitate a more of a sit steel metal. And that tail off kind of balances it really good. We might not catch another, but we caught one. And he was a good one. So we caught one. What are we done? Well, it's going to be a tough day. The wind is going to blow and the rain's probably going to come. It rained all day yesterday. So over there where I want to go might be some muddy. Look, there's a nut. There's a nut. Might be some muddy water. That is a baby brim. Ah, oh, Molly. <laughs> oh, Molly. Warm mouth, we call him. Got him on the Bobby Garland. Oh, Warmouth. 
I caught one of them things one time and I punted with three quarters of a pound. That was the biggest one I ever seen. They don't get big. I don't like fishing for crappies when it's this windy. I can deal with the perch. The crappies, you got to have it so doggone still. All we can do today is basically get a spot and put it on spot lock to be able to hold it within range of catching one today. If I have my hand control trolling mode, I could hold it perfect. But this spot lock can do about as good when it's windy like this. It'll hold it pretty good. And when it ain't windy, it wants to go around everywhere. tell you one thing if you ain't got a spot lock trolling motor you need to get you one it sure makes life a lot simpler I mean a lot simpler when it comes to catching these fish if nothing else just when you when you get your fish off the hook you hit that button spot lock and it'll hold you right in the same area that you don't get pushed way back and have to come all the way back up so it keeps you in the strike zone while you're doing your work you ain't got to work focus on where the boat is I used to it used to work me to death trying to keep the boat straight. <clears throat> right now I'm off a little deep. We need to pull up. We're right off the side. I need to be on the hump. So we got to pull up just a smidgen. Ain't much because it comes straight from 26 right up to 18. And right there where it comes up that ridge, 18, that's where we got to be fishing. You can't be fishing back. You got to be on the spot. It's like I've always said, it's got to be on that 55 gallon drum spot to catch these fish. And that's all there is to it. If it ain't on that spot, you ain't gonna catch them. Hey, yeah. Oh, that was a bite right there coming up that hill. And them mayfly lovers is around them logs and stuff up there on that hump. And that's why they hanging around that hump eating them mayfly lovers. I know they are. And it's a good ambush place for the hitting shad. That was a crappy bite right there. I just missed him. He thumped it. I just missed him. He was lucky I missed him. The boat ain't holding me up to like it should. I put it on spot lock, but by the time it gets the wind blowing, so by the time it gets where it needs to, doesn't tell you, back a little bit, hey, the wind blows me back. That's a nice crappy right there. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Hey, ain't no whopper, but he's a nice one. And he hit the Bobby, uh, the uh, Charlie Brewer, two and an eighth inch, Swimming man, and I'll show it to you. <coughs> um, with the tail cut off, this is a design I done, and, and what I done, and I'll show you. That thing comes with a paddle tail, two and an eighth inch swimming man, and I just clip the tail off. You see it? I just clip the tail off, and that way it just sits there like a man. And I think for vertical fishing, that's a key. Now, if you're pulling it like I do with them uh, three rig and all. A little bit circle swinging the paddle jig does good because it wiggles but right now hey we imitate mayfly lavas and they don't wiggle doggone boat done went off the spot lot while i was talking i swung it and i pushed me way back let me get back up <clears throat> well that's two crappies and that's the way crappies bite one here and one there unless you get them stirred up you catch two or three real quick that's the way it is that's why people love it so it's a challenge frog fishing is challenging but crappies is kind of unique they they finicky they don't like to bite and when you catch them you feel a sense of pride as far as the thump you got to love the thump but a bass and a, and a white perch all of them got about the same thump only a little bit harder on the bigger fish old bass hits that thing is a thump when a crab hits his thump when a perch hits it, it's thump, like a crap. All right, let's get back up here. They right up on this note. When I come up that hill and I set that jig up down top, that's when they bite, right there. That's when they bite, folks. And it's one little spot up there, 18, 19 foot of water, top of that little mound is where they hang. And they laying right there on the doggone bottom. Is what they doing. Is what they doing. And you have got to put it on them. If you don't know what you're doing with a hole in this boat, you cannot do it. They won't bite. 
right there's the hump. We ought to be getting a bite if I can get the boat around straight. I got the backwards here, the wind blowing me from the tail end. But we're gonna circle this thing back up and hopefully it'll, it'll sink down right on that little spot and we'll get another one. And they laying flat on the bottom. They ain't scooting up. And them bigger crappers that do that all the time. You see a bunch of uh, clouds of crappers like over that other place? Them smaller crappers. Them bigger ones is around logs and stuff on this lake and they ain't that deep. 18, 20, 22, that's where they at. If you could put you out of brush, just some logs, you'd be better off than a brush pile. Get bigger fish. Them bigger fish will lay around logs because they're hitting them doggone uh, mayfly lavas better than they will around a brush. Hello, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We moved. Oh, I already got one on. Good gracious. We done pulled over here to the perch hotel, and uh, I got one on. I got a couple on. Might have a bass. I don't know what I got. I hit it on the way down. Hey, hey, two at a time, white perch on the way down. We're trying to fish for crappers and caught two. It got so windy over there, we couldn't fish. We over here on the perch now. Lake Monticello on the perch. See how many we can catch right quick. Rain's on the way. Uh, it's a front coming in from the coast. It looks like it's gonna rain any minute. I didn't bring my rain jacket. So we're gonna drop it down and see if we can't catch a couple before the rain gets here. Hopefully. Mine's all messed up on my reel already. You got to get that straight now, that's for sure. Can't have no messed up line on the reel. <clears throat> we got to have it ready to go. There it is, right there. Gonna drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. See if we can get a nut. Hey, there was a bite. Stormy day on the way. Caught two crappers, but uh, just wasn't a lot of them out there. The wind's just hard to hold the boat. There goes, that's two more, I believe, or at least one. At least one. Yeah, ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. We're using our crappy rig with it. Bobby Garland's right now. There's something down there on the bottom. We can catch him. There he is. There he is. Oh my! There he is. That's a good one. That, that's a nice perch. Probably two of them. That's a nice one. No, it ain't but one. Oh, don't he pull. That's a good perch right there. That's a jumbo magnum. A jumbo magnum. Gray Ghost is getting them. Gray Ghost. You know, he weighed three quarter pound. Pretty nice. Drop him back down. Turn him out. Boy, the big boys lie. We got a bunch of them down there now. 30 foot of water. A bunch of them. See what happens. There he goes. There he goes. Let him hang around down there so we can get a nothing on it. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I believe a bass might have run up there. I ain't sure. Nah, that's a perch. Big perch. Oh, a bass was behind him. Big old bass was behind him in the water, y'all. If I'd have had my three rig out there to caught that bass. I had a perch on each chin. There wasn't nothing else for the bass to hit but the perch. It was a big old bass behind him. I seen him right up under the water. Drop back out. We might ought to put our three rig Bobby Garland, I mean, uh, uh, Charlie Brew out there. We might ought to. There he is hit. Oh, he wants it reeling. He want it reeling. They want it reeling. Might have to go back with the Bobby, uh, with the three rig Charlie Brewer, catch them reeling. Catch more bass and bigger fish like that with the bigger jigs. Is what we'll do. We got two at a time right time. Two at a time. We got one on the on the swimming meta. And we got one on the three-inch jig. We didn't catch nothing on the doggone Bobby Garland at the top. I'm gonna take that Bobby Garland at the top off. 
we gonna put a bigger jig on. What we gonna do? <clears throat> we gonna put a blue two and an eighth inch swimming mud up there. What I'm gonna do? See, I use one eighth ounce heads on my three rig. I don't use a sixteenth like it's on my double rig for crappers. I use one eighth ounce head or bigger on my three rig. And what we do, or bigger. All right, see what up? See what we can do. Might have to go back to the three rig for a while. I was with that two rig because of the crappies. You got more chance to catch a crab with that little Bobby Gordon. I think. You got more chance to catch big bass with with the slider. What you got? You can get them jokers suspended. You can catch them with that slider. Really. That slider they like 45 and with Bobby Golden they like straight up and down. That's the difference. They got to pull the boat with the slider. Bobby Golden, you don't. That's up. Boat moved in a little bit. We had 28 foot of water. It's a pile of fish down. I just caught a nice jumbo magnum off camera. Let's see if we can get another to bite. I went back to the double rig. They wouldn't hit the three rig. I don't know. These jokes are funny today. They don't want to. They want to bite today. This front's got them messed up. We're gonna try to catch a couple more. Hey, there was a bite. They down there. Bunch of fish down there. Perch too. And bass and what have you. They just don't want to bite. We might have to go to a darker jig. I ain't sure what that. That was a bite right there. We gonna figure out something. They there. And they ain't want to bite. There he is. There he is. Finally got a nothing. That's a nice one too. That's a good one. A jumbo. See why I got him on. Might have two. We got two. Look at that. Can't catch him and boom boom. Ain't that something? Can't catch him and boom boom. Got him. That's the way it works. That strike king, that black black jig, that strike jig. Crank king. Ow. Jig got him. I like that silver and black. Never used that color before. Another another change. Let's drop it down. Let's see if we can get a nut. We got some down there. I can tell you that. 29 foot, there's a pile of fish down there now. Pile of fish. Matter of catching them. Matter of catching them. They suspended all in there. I don't know why they ain't hit, fella. Get it on down. Might be under them, might be above them. We got to get it to the bottom and work up with these fish. They all over the bottom down there. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish on the bottom. One ought to pop it any time. Hey, today. I don't know why this dog gonna peculiar today. I got to get what they want. They, I got to put the, the, the motion on it that they want. The retrieve. Stay here. Slowing up. This is like a mayfly lava coming up. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. No question. Two at a time. They're not big, see. They're little fish. Babies. Baby fish. Tore my jig up too. I tell you, Bobby Garlands don't last as long as Charlie Brewer. You get a three inch Charlie Brewer, you keep cutting that sucker off and keep catching. Not a dog on Bobby Garland, you can't. They bumping it. I really need a bigger lead on this thing to get it down there because I, I got the crappy lead on the, the light lead. Taking a little bit longer to get down, but that was a nice, that was a nice one. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. 
That there's a two nice ones there, I believe. Fight. Who's fighting? Good gracious, he's fighting. Look at that water perch. Bottom, that's a good one. Jumbo Mag, calm down, boy. Jumbo Magnum right there. Two at a time. Jumbos. Come here, Jumbo. Come here, Jumbo. Get back down there. Catching a few. Hey, there's about them there at this point. There you One hit it on the way down. There he goes. There he goes. See if we can get a nut. They starting to bite a little bit now. There he goes. There he goes. We got two. They starting to bite a little bit now. Oh my. Look at that. Jumbos. They starting to bite a little bit now. We got the right combination. We got a Strike King jig and a Bobby Golden jig on. They both look very similar. I'll show it to you. A Strike King, it looks just like a Bobby Garland, only it's a little bit bigger and it's got black specks in it. And uh, and, the, and the Ghost Fella is uh, a little bit lighter with silver in it. Hey, they biting them though. Drop it down. We got a pile of fish down there on the bottom. Pile of fish. Starting to calm down a little bit and the sun's starting to come through. We might end up going back over and catching some crappers. That's what I hope. I want a limited crappers. I only got two. I want a limited crappers. And a few perch. That's to my goal today. They're laying right on that bottom down there. I caught a couple big crappers in here and a small mouth. Hope I can catch some more of them. That's a nice one. That does a nice one. I can tell you that right now. Nice perch right there. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. What? Look at that. Big old slabs. Big old slab perch. Lake Monticello catching jumbo magnums. Look at that. What? Hey, day. Up. Right on. Almost fell out the boat. Doggone it. Jumbo magnums. Ain't nothing like them. Somebody said they heard Richard Jane calling them Jumbo Magnum. I wonder who he got that from. <laughs> Richard does watch my show. He told me that, didn't he? I watch some of his, but I, I tell you, I'm so darn busy. I can't. I, I don't have nobody doing my videos for me. So I'm so busy, I don't have a chance to watch all his shows. Here lately. I'm a busy man. Look down the going. Look down the going. Huh? They gonna start biting and show the world. That ain't that big. Uh oh, he got it. No, I still got him. He ain't that big, don't think. Now nah, he's a little. He throw back. Get back out, Chanda. Tear my jig up. You rascal, you. You rascal, you. Pull my other jig down, too. Dog. Strike ain't got a, got a uh, triangular shape to the G up the, at the meat part instead of round. It's triangular. It's okay. It works. It's triangular. Alright. Get to the bottom and see if we catch one. There he is. Hey, that didn't take long, did it? Drop it down there one nailed it. Ain't but one though. Ain't but one. He's big enough to eat though. He's on that doggone strike king G. I think it's strike king. It might be uh, Mr. Crappy. I better look at that thing closer. I'll get the pack out in a minute. Walker Rebel sent me that. Something new to try. Blackstock, South Carolina. I think that's where he's from. Walker Rebel, fine fella. Calls me up all the time to check on me. Christian man. Cannot beat a Christian man. Oops. 
and a half. See if we can get this baby hooked back up here where we can catch another one. Loving life on Lake Monticello like we do. I see two more boats perch fish. Two. Ain't many people out here today. Rain in the forecast. There he is. There he is. Don't take long to get it down there and catch one, but they ain't all big. Problem. Some of them little. Well, that's big enough to eat right now. Oh! He got off. He's a lucky dog. I'm just talking about eating. He, he got out of town. He didn't want to be a part of that eating. I don't blame him. Oh, Lord. Getting all wrapped up here. Yeah, I tore my jig slam up. I got to get a nut. I got more jig. Let's try a dark blue. See if they'll hit that. Put a blue and, and a cream on there. See what happens. Dark day, they ought to hit blue better. I think. We'll see. It might not touch it. Isn't it? The black specs pretty good. Drop it down. I mean, while I'm doing that, while things going down, I'm gonna pull out this dag on jig pack and see and see what color that was. Uh, Walker sent me a whole pile of jig. Mr. Crappy Strike King. It's called uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper works, buddy. I'm gonna pull them out now because I'm gonna use some more of them salt and peppers. Salt and pepper by Mr. Crappy. Hey, you know, I used to use Mr. Crappy all the time. I ain't never even called them to see if they send me anything. But at one time, when I had my John boat, I was I was using Mr. Crappy all the time. But it was the paddle tails, uh, jigs. But that doggone one they got to imitate Charlie Brewer's jig. The salt and pepper is a pretty good jig. They hitting it. Moved right out a little bit, folks. And we got another known. Uh, we searching around for them to kind of quit, but then I stumble on another one. Nice, oh, two more. Nice ones too. Two more. One of them's a throwbacker. Drop it back down. See if we can get a nud on Lake Monticello. There you go. Had to ease it up like that mayfly lava to get him to bite it. What I had to do. Two of them, two. Two of them. I'm sitting here catching perch really wanting to go catch crappies. Ain't that something? That, con that wind's coming down a little bit. It's got me wanting to go catch crappies. I might have to do it, but the crappies at the wind side of the lake right now. They bumping it. They die. They just don't want to bite. There he is. There he is. Got him that time. Got him that time. Got him that time. That's a nice one, too. What? Look at that. Two nice ones. Two nice ones. Time you catch one, you catch two, it looks like. You have three jigs on you, you probably catch three, but if I put three jigs on this eight pound test in between it, when the bass gets on there, guess what? They're gonna break off. I can add another swivel and add another couple jigs, but I don't think that's wise to do. Don't push my luck. Don't push my luck. down there. It's a matter of catching them. They're all over that bottom. These mayfly lovers are what they're doing. They're right there tight to the bottom. And they just don't hit it any kind of way. they running up behind it. There you go. I see them running up behind it. 
amazing. And they ain't eating it up. There's plenty of fish down there. They just ain't want to bite. Oh, thumped it. Thumped it again. And again. <laughs> Got him that time. So we can pick a nut up on that other jig now. Should. Who knows? That's a good one. That one of the tops a good one. That is a super duper dog magnum right there on that doggone Strike King Mr. Crappy. What he hit? Strike King Mr. Crappy. Oops. Doesn't ain't that big. That right there is a nice one. I'll tell you that right now. Can't tell how nice they are down there where I'm at. Uh, that far away. Okay. They hitting that Mr. Crappy now. No question. That Mr. Crappy is just as good as Bobby Garland so far. They bumping it every time I put it down there. There he is. We got him that time. We got him that time. So we can get a nudding to take it. There goes a nudding. Now we got two. If you had five jigs on, you catch them five at a time right now. Once you get one hooked, you get nothing. That's two good ones right there. Look at the size of them perch. Them big ones, ain't they? Hey, day. Whoppers. I mean whoppers. All day long whoppers. Filets right there, buddy. Come here, filet. Come here, filet. Come here, daddy, filet. Alright. Put that lid down. That lid wanting to slide up the line. I don't like that. All right, drop it down. To the bottom. Oh, it a big boy's line. I can tell you that. Them clouds don't know what to do. I don't know. I, I know it's going to rain here shortly. Bound to. There he is. There he is. See if we can get nothing about it. Get nothing on there. There he goes. There he goes. There goes number two. Huh. I think got two. Yeah, we got to have two. Oh yeah, look at that. Two at a time. Every time. Hey, it don't take long you get them two at a time. Count on that. Don't take long. Drop it back down. See if we can get some more. Hey, it's fun. Just drop it down, pull it up. That's all you're doing. Folks, we moved down about, I you know, 40 yards, and I done found a little batch of fish. That's a nice one right there. That might be a bass. It might be a bass right here. This might be a bass. I don't know what it is. No, that's two perch. One of them's hooked in the back of the head is what it is. That one up yonder's hooked in the back of the head. Snag hook. That's why he's pulling so. Pull like a bass. He's a nice one. We got him snag hooked in the eye of all places. In the eye. I'm going to drop it back out and see if we catch a nothing in the eye. 
I still think catch some crappies if this wind lays down a little bit more. I'm gonna go back over here and catch some more. We getting a mess of perch, I'll tell you that. You can almost guarantee you, it gets around full moon. And new moon, these fish are gonna bite somewhere if you get the right place. Always do, I don't know why it is. They bumping it, they all over that bottle. They eating mayflies like that. That's what they doing. Every one I'm catching down in here, when I clean them, when I catch them down in here and clean them, they full of mayfly lollies. Every one of them. Every one of them. I'll tell you what though, you ain't catching no crap as deep. Them crap is shallow. You got to find them shallow rocks and humps to catch them. I say shallow 18, 20 foot. That's where they at. That's what I believe. It takes some investigating and looking to find them. And it's hard to do that. Well, I'd be darned if he didn't break my jig off. I'd be dog. Now we got the tie jig. Dog, going they all over the place down there too. Let me tie it right quick. Uh, put it on spot lock and I'll get rid of y'all right quick and we'll tie up. All right, folks, we're back. Let's see if there's any more still out there. Actually, I went to tie it and I found out they just pulled the jig skirt off. It didn't break off. Let's see if we can make some more bite. There he is. There he is. Got, oh, one got off. I had two on. I think one got off. I think. No? Huh? Two little ones. That's what's wrong. A little fish in here. What's wrong? A little fish. Babies. What for these babies? I back down. We need to get some bigger fish. That's what we got to do. We got to move around and find a bigger one. They might be out deeper. Sometimes they'll do that. Cloudy day though, you don't never know. Deep or shallow. Bumping it. What I'm looking for is right anywhere along here where it comes up like a little hump, a mound, it's old something old and, and, and it's a hump there, a log or whatever. And uh, them mayfly logs will be around it and them fish are gonna be around that. We gotta stir around and we find an abnormal, a, a drop. We're catching some little ones, we ain't on the big fish. We ain't on the big fish that I wanna be on. They, they eat size, but they ain't super dog magnum size. Ain't nothing wrong with ow. Ain't nothing wrong with that fish. But he just ain't super dog magnum size. And what the problem is, right there's a pile of them. My goodness. A whole drove of them right there. She bunches of them. Ought to get one as soon as it gets down, huh? It's like the whole school comes when I caught them last two. Yeah, it must not be got to them yet. <coughs> it's deep, deeper than what I've been fishing. A lot deeper. Up, oh, they hit it. He hit it. Hey, hit it again. Oh my! That body, a little. We got to. Leave. I hate to say it. We might have to leave these fish. We get on some big ones, and you know it's probably big ones right out here somewhere. Get on the right batch. Hey, yeah, uh, little one, little ones. Yeah, let's see if we can get a nud to take it. So far, we ain't. There goes the nud. There goes the nud and run up and got it. That's usually when you get your bigger ones, when you got one on to hold it up. 
Yeah. See that? That's a good one. Both of them are nice. There's nothing wrong with them. Them that's bigger. Them bigger. Them bigger. There's nothing wrong with that one. That's a jumbo right there. Come on. Right King. Mr. Crappy. Got him. That's what got him. That's what pulled him to rest. Right here. See that? That's a good fish. A beautiful perch. That's a beautiful perch. We got a bunch of them down there now. Stir them up, they come, and we catch them. That's what we're doing. There's some big ones down there. I think some bass in there with them. That's where Charlie Brew a three inch jig would be catching them bass. We ain't catching them with this. We just catching the perch. See that? See that? What I'm talking about. Oh, it. I want another to hit it. I want another to hit it. Don't look like it's going to. He got but one, but he's nice. He's a real nice one. Come here, boy. Come in here, boy. Ain't no shad coming up, so they, I'm telling you, they eat mayfly lavas. No shad in their mouths. They own the lavas. What they own? We ought to be killing these fish. They, they ain't half wanting to bite. They're pecking at it. They're bumping at it. They just ain't half wanting to bite. And they're looking at it, let me tell you. They looking at it. They ain't taking it. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Ever so often you get a bump. A nice perch right there, buddy. Them that's jumbos right there. That's a jumbo. Huh? Tell you right now, that's that's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine, right there, but Perch Magazine. All right, let's put it back, boy. They out there. Woo! -wee! They out there. My goodness, huh? Make you want to tip your hat. Tip your hat to the old fisherman. Oh Lord. Drop it back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. And let me tell you, there's some big boys out there somewhere for me to catch. I wish I had some of them doggone uh, lime green looking lamb colors. Got a green tint in them. I believe they'd hit that. I don't see nothing down here in my pie. There's one. There's one. A little one. That's a little one there. I think. I don't know. Oh, he ain't even big enough. Big enough. There's nothing wrong with him. Big enough. See, we get them done right quick. I had a knot in my line, but I couldn't get it out. It's too darn tight, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to retire, so we're fishing with a knot in the line. You need to know that ain't good. Hook a big bass, that's where it's going to break. But I don't want to take the time to redo it. Look at that one perch. Look at that one perch. That's a good one.